Hello guys and gals and rats of all ages. How are you all doing today? <clears throat> like I said in the last video, um, we're going to we're going to go ahead and shoot a shad pattern today. Um, it'll be another simple pattern. Won't take very long. Um, a lot of you probably seen it done elsewhere. We're going to do it here. Um, just show you my style of it. Um, like I said, won't take much. And then after I get done with that, I'm going to go shoot some video, some soft plastics. Um, I'll give you a little teaser trailer to come up later in the week and uh, show you what we got soft plastic wise as well. Might be a might be a few picks of them at the end of this video if you stick around in the end. Once again, I want to thank all of you that watch this channel. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe down below. Like the video. Ring the bell. If you want to get notifications of every time we release a video, I'm going to try to release a video three times a week doing something. Um, we'll either be in here making baits. Uh, we'll be painting crank baits, pouring soft plastics, working on spinner baits, jigs. We might be out fishing. Um, you never know. Uh, like I alluded to in the last video, my son actually pours all the soft plastic, so... You're going to meet him later this week, and he is fishing the Oklahoma High School Nation and the youth organization with BASS, so um, not only is he in, in here to help make baits and create new things for you, he's out there fishing them um, pretty often, I know, I had to take him there. Anyway, but, so, join us this entire week. Right now, we're going to paint a shad pattern. All right, so we've already got our blank set in opaque white. Uh, I'll do a video on that, but I, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, tape off your bill, and I typically just shoot... I shoot a, a wicked opaque white. Um, I do have apple barrel. You can actually do a mixture of a Createx, an apple barrel, with a little bit of pearl. And, and it makes a good base coat as well. Um, I need to show you all how I, how I uh, actually do my base coats because I do these in mass quantities. So uh, we'll do a video on that a little later on. But uh, for now, this is just done in a, in a wicked opaque white. So where I come from, our shad are a little more shimmery than that. So what we're going to do today is we are going to take a pearlized white. We're going to shoot the shoot the bottom of it with a little pearlized white. We're going to use a little pearl silver on the top half of him. And then just a little streak of black around the eyes and down his back. Now the one thing I do like to do that's a little different is I do like to put a small line of chartreuse yellow or a pearlized or chartreuse orange or fluorescent orange sorry about that not chartreuse orange um just just kind of right down the lateral line of the bait i think it just gives it a little pop um just to give it that shimmer we all know that whenever whenever we're fishing with shad or or minnows or anything in that family when we're catching crappie and and catfish those scales come off pretty easy and your hands just sit there and shimmer so i like to give it a little more shimmer with like i said adding a little fluorescent yellow fluorescent orange or a pearlized orange so that's what we're going to do today let me get some pearl white loaded up in the gun we'll shoot the the uh, belly of this bait and we'll get started. All right, so we've got our pearl loaded up in our gun, just our standard Createx pearl white. And we're gonna shoot the belly and up the sides just, just a little bit. I don't even think we'll go all the way to the lateral line. We just wanna put a little shimmer on this bait and I can already see it coming through. This is a pretty skinny bait down towards the back end anyway, so I'm going to come up just to that eye socket. 
about halfway through the eye socket and down. And I know that between my lighting and my camera, it may not be picking that up. It may just look wet right now, but that's that's the overall effect that we want anyway. We just want that wet, shimmery look on it. Like I said, I can see the difference in it. I'm not sure you can. I'm going to heat set this. I'm going to hit it one more time with that. take our bait and we're going to lay our pearl silver in. I've got it loaded up in the gun. Um, we're going to shoot down the back of the bait and down the front or down the side, sorry. We may have to put a couple coats on. This is a pearlized paint though, so like I said earlier, it's the last thing to dry and the first thing to clog up your airbrush, so we're going to spray a little bit there. And let me put a heat set on it. You can darken this silver up if you want to. Um, the way I would do it is I would go ahead and... Put your silver off into your airbrush, and then I would take the black, and I would just put a toothpick down in, in the black and pull it out, and then mix it. I would not put an entire drop of, of black into your uh, pearl silver, because um, depending on the color, that might be what you're after, but uh, I don't want my pearl to be... I don't want my pearl to be quite that dark normally, so um, just a stick your toothpick down in your black, mix your paint in the bowl, save you a cup, and we're going to heat set it. It is pearl. We're going to heat set it again. for a moment right up there one of these days I'll give you a view of that rack up there too we are going to clean the gun out I do mix my own airbrush cleaner and it's basically a half and half of many of the cleaners that you've seen out there it is windshield wiper fluid uh, half of it I say half and half so it's 45% windshield wiper fluid, 45% isopropyl alcohol, and then just a touch of glycerin. And the glycerin helps keep everything in your gun lubricated, ready to go. Um, there are times where I run out of the glycerin, I won't use it, or I don't have it, but I also always have this bottle of straight alcohol here as well. I think this is 91% isopropyl. Um, works out fairly well if you just go and buy denatured alcohol at Hobby, or not Hobby Lobby, at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, it works really, really well. I'm not going to say it doesn't, but it also eats up O-rings really, really well. Um, it distorts them. Uh, you'll take your gun apart. Everything will be fine when you go put it back together. You'll have this orange or black mutation growing out of your gun because the denatured alcohol has destroyed your O-ring. And if any of you have ever tried to put the O-rings back on some of these, I work with O-rings all day, every day in my line of work. 
but nothing this small. So, all right. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix up my fluorescent right now. And I'm going to put just a little line right down that lateral line. And then we're going to come back in with the Wicked Black. And put a little bit of a scale pattern on it. All right. Like I've mentioned in other videos, this right here is what clogs up your gun. That right there. That is the ugliness of our business. So if you can get that out of the way so you don't put it down inside of your gun, you will have less clogs. I said, I am here to teach you. If you want to buy something, you want me to make you something, I am more than happy to. I will... I will paint it. I will send it to you. If you want to paint it yourself, I'm here to teach you that as well. So we're all in this together. We're all outdoorsmen. We all enjoy what we do. Love spending our time in the outdoors. For this, I am going to go ahead and pull that nozzle collar off there. Yeah, so hopefully I can get a little finer line like that right there if you can see that and i also will take our bait and it has been heat set and for this i am going to set it up in our helping hands because if any of you have watched very many of my videos you'll know i'm not the most steady person on the face of the earth so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to run it in right behind that gill plate right behind that fin and just lay it back in there you may watch me make the biggest mistake i've ever made so here we go especially if the gun don't want to work and since i took the nozzle off of it you don't want to put your finger up there to back bleed it because I promise you that is sharp all right I have a complete and total clog of the gun all right let me get this cleared up I'll be right back with you like I said on this channel you're gonna see it all the good, the bad, and the ugly. So let me get this cleared and I'll be right back. Okay, I think we got her cleared up. I think we're about ready. Let me see if we can't shoot this really fine line just right down the... Right down the back. Just like that. Flip her over to the other side. Before my gun decides it wants to clog up again. Just like that. Now we are ready to heat set this. And then we'll go in with our black. And we'll go in with a little bit of a scale pattern. So let me get the gun cleaned out. Really, really good this time. And we'll be back and we'll do that. All right, we got our fluorescent yellow line laid down our back. Hopefully we got our gun cleaned out good. We're gonna find out here in just a minute. I'll go ahead and take this out of the helping hands. Then we're gonna take our mesh. I think this is the same one we used in the last video. And we're gonna go ahead and cover our bait. Once again, put a really good heat set on the bait. We'll take our clips. I'm just going to clip it along here. It's going to be a very, very faint pattern. But just enough for... Just enough for our shad. This third clip we're going to bring up underneath. Get 
get this clip to cooperate with me. Get it up underneath here. Let's get that pulled tight across that body. Like that. Now we're gonna clip down to the bill here. So we have a really good, soft, even. Pull that a little bit. Scale pattern. I'm gonna load our gun up with some wicked black here. Give it a good shake. Black's always good to shoot. It's nice and thin, doesn't require anything. Okay, there. And we are going to shoot it at an angle. We're not going to just hit it directly. We're going to shoot it at an angle because all we want is a is a pattern. scale pattern in him. Then we'll come across the back side with just pure black, but we're going to put a heat set on this real quick. See, we got, got our scale pattern. Maybe you can see that, maybe not. I'll change the view here in a minute and you'll definitely be able to see it. And now we're going to run down the back. I'm just going to blacken the mid up. Compressor's kicked off. Clean the gun a little bit. See if we can finish this up. Congratulations, we all heard the air compressor again. I was going to try to get away from that. Mm, that's about all we need. I need to put a little bit over here just to even it up. Not like that. Really black right down that back. And that's what we come out with. Like I said, I'll get you a better angle here in just a minute. You can't hardly I can't even see the scale pattern in the camera, so we'll get you a different we'll get you a different view here in just a second. Let this dry and I'll be right back with you. All right, so this is what we ended up with. I think I can get a decent picture of it now. Got a black back, got that scale, and just that little, little line of chartreuse in there. Going into a pearl body, which does not show up under these LED lights whatsoever. We'll get some eyes stuck in it. I'll send some pictures up. I'll set some pictures up at the end of this video so you can see what it looks like clear coated with the eyes in it. Um, but just your just your basic shad pattern that I change up just a little bit with that little bit of yellow in there. I think it just gives it that little bit of glisten 
glisten and shine. So, anyway, like I was telling you earlier, stick with us the rest of the week. Um, I do plan on doing a little preview video of our soft plastics and some other things. Um, weather's supposed to be good the next few days around here until this next coming weekend, so we'll see what we can come up with. Uh, we might even get out and do a little bit of fishing. Not sure. Not sure we'll catch anything, but we can give it a shot. Um, once again, I want to thank you all for joining in, watching the channel. If you can, subscribe, like below, hit the bell. So, um, once again, from Lake Rat Tackle in Yukon, Oklahoma, we thank you for watching. You all have a wonderful, wonderful week. We'll see you probably about Wednesday. Thank you all. Goodbye.